Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll just be introducing a little workflow helper that takes full advantage of Quixel Bridge and it's importing and export features. So for instance, if I go to um, my local imported, you can see that I've got these models that I've imported from 3D Scan Store and Sketchfab. So we can take advantage of the fact that we're not reliant only on the assets available through Quixel Mega Scans, we can also take advantage of what's out there in terms of, uh, say, 3D Scan Store or other popular 3D model stores such as uh, Sketchfab. So I'll show, give you a quick rundown of how we can do that. So if I go to Sketchfab and just I like to do the CC0 uh, models since these are free and uh, free to use commercially. Give us an example, uh, download one of these. And Sketchfab has a huge library of uh, like historical uh, replicas and uh, scans straight from museums. So these are real artifacts that have been 3D scanned via museums and have been put out there uh, as CC0. Their models aren't always set up correctly in terms of like normal maps and uh, texture maps and all that. So although we can get good models, sometimes there's a bit of manual tweaking to make sure that the naming conventions are correct. So now in Bridge, what we do is go to File, Import zip files. Okay, so uh, now that I've imported this zip file, it gives us a range of options. Put it in the 3D assets, since it is a full 3D object, it's not just a texture. And as far as I know, it's an 8K texture. Okay, now that it's imported, uh, we can make sure that it's good to go in our little preview window just by clicking the 3D view. It may take a minute to generate the preview since it is quite a high-res model. And that's looking pretty good. To import into Blender, you'll need to open Blender. And then once Blender's open, you can click export. And we're just going to Blender now and within a few seconds, we should have our model. Yep, and there it is. And if we go into our shader setup, see that it's already um, applied the shader setup, our normal maps, and everything else. So that's great, isn't it? Um, yeah, so this is a huge helper. I uh, wish I'd known about it earlier because it would have saved me heaps of time. So that's really cool. And I'll show you the same thing with a 3D scan store model we will use import folder rather than import uh, zip. Um, since I've already unzipped 3D scan store model, and 3D scan store, uh, the popular female ArcViz models that everybody uses. Uh, we just choose this top folder so that it grabs both the OBJ and the texture. Select folder. As far as I know, these are, they're about 10K by 10K textures, but 8K will do. And import usually takes, takes a minute. And there it is. And then we have Blender open. And my cat just stacked it. Um, we export. And let's have a squeeze in Blender. And there it is. So we can Add some lights. Oh, and also with these models, you'll want to just right click and shade smooth. There it is in all its glory, the models. And this is um, the convenience of this is every time you open Bridge, you'll have a whole library of, of assets. This will be a really good way to organize all your 3D, 3D assets and 
be able to export to various um, 3D softwares, not just Blender. So hopefully that helps. I'm sh I know it's definitely helped me and I, I was kicking myself I didn't find out about this sooner. Also comment if you have other tricks and tips that you find super useful and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.